have three kids. I have Ozia who's seven, and Kaya and Zara who are two. So by trade, I'm a midwife, um, and then in my personal life, I'm a mother. And having talked to so many different patients and seeing people go through their whole reproductive cycles kind of in front of my eyes, I realized that there's a huge gap in knowledge just of basic anatomy, and then that leads into not being able to really if you don't even know the words of things or what they're for, it's really challenging and difficult as you get older to navigate, well, what do I like, what do I not like? And so by talking to kids really early, you're basically kind of building these little seeds, putting these little seeds in their brain, building this really solid foundation so as they grow themselves into their own kind of humanness, they're able to use um, a solid foundation to say what they want, what they don't want, and be able to be advocates for their own safety and also for their own pleasure, which is super important. Um, I think it's a little bit like saying, um, you know, your kids are too young to talk about their ear, right? I mean, you would never say that, right? So why would it be too young to say, this is your ear, this is your hand, that's your penis. Yeah. And by kind of leaving out the middle parts, what that's saying is you're making that a taboo subject, you're making something that like, this is not something we discuss. And then if there's any problems that come up in kind of this middle area, all of a sudden it feels like, oh, I can't come to my trusted adult to talk about this because this isn't even something that's been brought up. So I think there is no such thing as too young. And I think it's not just my own kind of feelings. There's actually been studies done where the earlier you talk to a child about um, sexuality, about appropriate names for body parts, about trusted adults and how to say yes and how to say no, most importantly, uh, they actually will start their sexual careers later on in their life. So I think even just the studies around it kind of has shown us that the earlier you talk, the later they start. Why? Because they're starting in a thoughtful way. They're, this isn't the first time they've ever seen a penis or touched their own vulva, right? Uh, so I think in that sense, starting early and building a foundation early uh, is vital and also studies prove that it actually does make a difference in terms of how that child's sexual career is going to play out. Um, I would say number one, it's okay to say, ooh, I'm not sure, let's go look it up. Number two, do some of your own reading and research. A lot of the fear and the anxiety that comes around sexuality actually comes from kind of your lack of understanding. You're like, gosh, I, I kind of don't know what that part is for. Explore how you feel about it first is a really good kind of touch point and before you actually go and start talking to your kids about it. Number two, a lot of kids are just curious about really basic things, right? So like. What's the deal with this, mom? Oh, it, it does ABC. And then you don't have to go into all the other things like you might feel like this and sometimes it feels like this. Maybe you don't have to. Maybe you just have to say like, you know, your penis can get erect. And then they're like, oh, it does? Okay, that's normal. Got it. The more times you talk about it, the better. Talking is powerful because it opens doors. Um, the more that you talk to your child, it lets them know that they can talk back to you. So, you know, I think that when you build relationships, not just with your child, but with kind of anybody, you want it to be a two-way street. And really, what do we want from our children? We want them to come to us if they have a problem, and we want them to come to us when they're excited about things. We want to share in their journey. That's why talking is so important, because every single moment that you spend with your child, you're building that relationship. And if you're not talking from a really, really early age, you're also building that type of relationship. So I think that's why it's vital, vital, to start talking to your children about everything. Everything, I'm not just, not just sex. Like, it's not just one big talk. Everything, you know, learn about my little pony. Talk about that. Whatever you want to talk about, talk, just talk. Because then they'll talk back to you, and it's great.